Tonight, in the midst of Hispanic Heritage Month, we're taking a closer look at an essential part of California's Chicano culture. In a move merging tradition and innovation, a Sacramento trade school is on a mission to transform a low rider and make it fully electric. CBS 13's Brady Hablive attended one of the classes. Riding low and slow. That's the name of the game when it comes to low riding, a deeply embedded tradition in California's Chicano culture. Seven inches here, across here. But now, Sacramento Academic and Vocational Academy, also known as SAVA, are taking that tradition and giving it a new spin to a greener future. Nayeli Rodriguez is one of the students in SAVA's EV low rider conversion program. They're taking this 68 Impala and making it completely electric while souping it up with a sound system and hydraulics. It's been fun. We've taken all of this apart. And so now we're just working on putting it back together. Lowriders are traditionally classic vintage cars, sometimes fitted with hydraulics, custom wheels, and loud engines. And growing up in the lowrider community, Nayeli didn't like the idea at first. But now she's totally invested, helping bring an older tradition and cruising it into the future. When you grow up like in the lowrider community, you see all the value these cars have. Sava director Summer Ash says the project has strong ties to Sacramento's Hispanic community. We're looking at relevant curriculum that's engaging for our students, why not a low rider? And aims to promote clean energy jobs in the future to an underrepresented community. As the state leads the zero carbon effort by 2035, making electric vehicles accessible is critical. And it all starts here. Length. Up here, it's got five inches or six inches. But it's not easy. There's a lot of improvising, but instructor Galen Hartman says that's when the learning happens. Use modern technology and making something that's old, brand new again. For Nayeli, the car isn't just a symbol of the past. It's a vision of where the tradition will go down the road. So I kind of just want to take what I know, build on it, and continue it. Cool program and it gets students ready to become professionals in clean energy.